If you're looking to buy small to team coins, then go check out cheaputcoins.com. All the links are down below in the description box. And use discount code of GC5 to get your 5 cent discount on all of your orders, guys. They are cheap, reliable, and also have an instant coin service, which will get you a coins in around 5 seconds. What is up guys, Jason Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got the start of my brand new series which we call the best ever squad. Today we're starting off with Real Madrid and basically what it is going to be is be me showing you the best possible Real Madrid team combined from FIFA 10 up to FIFA 14. It's kind of similar to my FIFA generation series I've done last year so hopefully you do enjoy it and if you do enjoy it make just smash the like button. If you nailed 2,000 likes that would be greatly appreciated and if you're new to my channel click that subscribe button and find it in the comments below let me know what team or nation I should do next. So I'm going to start off by showing you the top rated goalkeeper, defender, midfielder and attacker before getting into the actual squad overall. So starting things off then, we're going to start off with the goalkeeper. And that is going to be Iker Sias. This is V13 Team of the Year card, 95 rated. And uh, he's, he's been the best rounded goalkeeper for every single ultimate team. As of course, he's a world class keeper still. And uh, 95 rated on that card, 97 diving, 98 reflexes, 90 handling and 92 positioning. What a card that was. And as you can see, every single FIFA up to FIFA 14 at least, he has progressed from 91, 92, 93, 95. And then this year, unfortunately, is only an 86 because he was actually the second choice goalkeeper for the last like year and a half because Diego Lopez has come in, done quite well, and uh, seems that managers have kind of like favoured that. On to the defender then. As you can see, the main best rated one is going to be Sergio Ramos. His 93 rated card from FIFA 12. But I can actually go with the FIFA 13 or FIFA 14 card as well. But personally, I saw the centre-back version from FIFA 12 as the best one to look at. And uh, them stats, 87 pace, 85 dribbling, 95 defending and 98 heading and 86 passing. That card was unfreaking believable. And on FIFA 12, he actually was a right back to start off with. And as you can tell, FIFA 10 is a 90 rated right back. And then he got an 87 card on FIFA 11. And then he started getting the best rated cards as centre back from 93 from FIFA 12 up to FIFA 14. On to the midfielders. And as you can see, Cristiano Ronaldo's FIFA 14 team of the year card is the one we're going to be showcasing as the highest rated ever midfielder for Real Madrid. And that card is absolutely incredible. 98 pace, 98 dribbling, 97 shooting, 87 passing, and 92 heading. Five star skill moves as well. Can't really complain about that. And uh, Ronaldo's actually been the highest rated midfielder ever for Real Madrid on any FIFA actually. He was a right winger on FIFA 10 and this does include informed guards and that guy's um, then he went to a left wing from FIFA 11 and on FIFA 12 he actually did have a 98 rated card as well but unfortunately no site seems to have any recognition of that so I couldn't really find a picture so it could have been there instead but the 98 card is still the highest ever for a Real Madrid midfielder. Finally, then on to the strikers, and Karen Benzo's FIFA 12 team of the season card is going to hold that record. 90 rated, and it's an incredible looking card. 91 pace, 93 shooting, and 93 dribbling. Holy freaking shit. But the, the highest rated uh, striker for Madrid on FIFA 10 and 11 was actually Gonzalo Higuain, who's now at Napoli. And then Benzema kind of took over from FIFA 12 up to FIFA 14, where Bale's centre forward card is actually the joint highest rated attacker. On to the best rated Real Madrid team ever then. And of course, it's going to actually feature the players that was just going over, but it's also going to have a few better names. We'll go with the 4-4-2 formation as it is the easiest to show it in. Starting things off then, we're going with the defence. And of course, our 95 rated uh, Casillas and 93 Ramos were featured just a second ago. But the, the probably the main like random one in this team is actually going to be Arbelo. This is the only non-informed card, if I'm correct, that is actually going to feature in this team. Ramos has got a higher rated right back card. But I don't feel it's right to have two of the same player in the starting 11. So Arbelo's A2 is a bit of a surprise. But overall, that defense is so damn good to look at. I mean, that Pepe card this year is absolutely awesome. Ramos back on FIFA 12 was an incredible uh, centre-back. And Marcelo last year, I personally didn't like him. But still, the stats are pretty damn impressive. The midfield side of things actually be very dominated by FIFA 14 cards. The main one, of course, could be that Cristiano Ronaldo 98 rated one. But Di Maria is actually the right centre midfielder. This is man of the match card from his Champions League uh, final performance, if I'm correct. But that could be the FIFA 12 Urza, which I'll show you in a second. Bell, the right mid, the very first season in Madrid, done a very, very good job and got a 93 card. And finally, Alonso could be his FIFA 12 card, but this one has the better overall stats. And this is the Mesut Ozil card I was on about that could replace Di Maria. This is FIFA 12 card. It had 97 freaking passing, 95 dribbling, 83 pace, 83 shot. That again is a very, very nice card. Finally, then onto the attackers. As you saw before, that is the Karen Benzema, which is the highest rated ever Real Madrid striker. And uh, it's an incredible looking card. 93 uh, dribbling, 93 shooting and 91 pace. Can't really go wrong with that. Then we've got Gonzalo Higuain. This is actually an informed card back from FIFA 10. 89 rated with a 90 pace, 87 dribbling, 88 shot and uh, some okay passing and heading. 
So then guys, that's going to be the end of the video and uh, there will be some players in this team that either are the same ratings on previous FIFA and stuff like that. Like I said, that Ozil could be there instead of Di Maria. But personally, I feel this is the best te uh, the team overall and uh, it's a pretty damn impressive one, guys. So like I said at the beginning, if you can nail 2,000 likes, I will do more of these. Let me know in the comments below what teams I should do next. Check out cheaputcoins.com. All the links are down below in the description box. GC5 is your discount code on the checkout screen. Click that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time.